Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody posted on my Facebook page how to make, they're actually going to stitch leather, like a leather patch on a hat or something. So first of all, you need to do some testing with what size hole you need for your thread or your leather or whatever you're using. I'm picking 0.18. It's probably a little bit big. But I've got a piece of, like a patch with a contoured circle. So the way I would do it, I would test out that hole to see if it's big enough or little enough. My, my point is 1.18. So I'm changing my nudge factor to 0.18. I'm gonna make a duplicate. And then I've, what I've done is I've made them equally spaced apart. So there's a, there's a whole distance between them that is the same. So we need to, we don't have to measure that distance because it's gonna be 0.36. But if you go to the center, to the center, you can go 0.36. So now we need to figure out how many we need so we'll just get these out of the way. Matter of fact, I only need one of those because I've got one up here. I'm going to select them. I'll go both. You don't have to do this, but I hit B and make them even. Now we need to find out how long this is. I've already converted it to a curve. I had to break the contour part and then make it a curve. And then I'm going to go to Windows, Docker, and Properties. And I'm going to go right here to Curve. And my curve is 31.98, so basically 32 inches. So we bring on our calculator, and we've got 32 inches divided by 0.36. And we get basically 89. So we need 89 of them. We'll take our blend tool, go to effects, blend, and we need 89, we've already got two, so we're gonna go 87, hit apply, go down here to new path, put it on our path, go right here to blend along full path and apply. Now you've got those holes pretty equally spaced throughout the, and this is probably way too big of a hole, but that's how I would do it. And then you could actually grab all that, take object, and let's tell you what, we have to select it all, go to object, break the elements apart, and then grab your line and delete it. So you'll just cut out those holes. But I would definitely do some testing on what size holes you need. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank